In the U.S., 795,000 people suffer a stroke each year. Doctors say time is brain. Patients and their families must act fast if they recognize the symptoms. Stephanie Cerna shows us how researchers are on their way to finding better diagnosis. Lauren Barnathan wrapped up her workout earlier in the day and was meditating just like this. When something horrific happened, she had a stroke. I had no idea what was going on. I was screaming at my husband not to call 911 as he's doing it. Um, just complete denial. While at the Tampa General Hospital, a blood sample was taken. A blood sample that could help doctors find a way to speed up stroke diagnosis. More than 140,000 people die each year from stroke in the United States. Reaction time is critical. The acute nature of the disease um, makes it um, important to be able to do everything we can to find out everything we can about the patient in a very short amount of time at the beginning as soon as they show symptoms. This is why Maha Salem says blood samples are being tested at the Vuessence lab at the University of South Florida. We have worked really hard to reduce the amount of time it takes to measure the gene expression in the blood, which is what we base our test on. Researchers are trying to develop a quick molecular genetic blood test that detects blood clot strokes as fast as possible. Right now, doctors rely on clinical assessments, MRIs, and CT imaging. I think it could be a, a, a game changer. I still remember the night of my stroke when they were consenting me to be part of the test. And even during my stroke, I just remember thinking, how cool is that? Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News. The most recent statistics show a decline in stroke death rates, but the risk of ischemic stroke in smokers is about double that of non-smokers. Ischemic stroke is when an artery to the brain is blocked.